When a hyper-aggressive lizard or an evil living cow heart starts rampaging through your town, or a sinister salesman turns up in your home, who are you going to call? Hint, it's not the Ghostbusters. The answer is the SCP Foundation's Mobile Task Force. You've probably heard them mentioned in every single video on this channel, but what exactly is a mobile task force? What do they do for the SCP Foundation? And what are some of the most famous mobile task forces in the field? Let's crack open the files and take a look. In short, mobile task forces are the Foundation's elite personnel, and each task force is generally made up of highly trained Foundation operatives with specific skill sets. These MTS aren't rooted in any one base and are relocated to wherever they're required, hence the mobile part of the name. The exact parameters on what an MTF can be is pretty flexible. The size of their units can vary from whole battalions of troops packing heavy artillery to small, tight-knit groups of intelligence-gathering spies. Some mobile task forces are bound to specific SCPs, whereas others perform more generalized tasks, such as securing certain facilities or territories. When the regular rank-and-file Foundation field agents can't do the job, the MTFs are brought in to pick up the pieces. Each group is controlled by a mobile task force commander, who reports to the Foundation director of task forces, though the actual organizational structure of each group varies. Sometimes MTFs, which were created for extremely specific purposes, are disbanded after that purpose is achieved. How many mobile task forces are there exactly? The exact number is shrouded in secrecy, and oftentimes the answer will depend on who you ask. But you're not here for what we don't know. You want to know the details on the biggest badasses under the Foundation's employ, and we intend to deliver. Much like our video on the proposals for SCP-001, we're going to give you a rapid-fire crash course on some of the most prominent and interesting Foundation task forces. And remember, if you want us to go more in-depth into the most exciting missions of any of these groups, let us know in the comments. But for now, it's time for a rundown of the Foundation's best of the best. MTF Alpha-1, aka Red right hand are essentially the black ops of the SCP Foundation. They report directly to the O5 Council and conduct missions at the highest level of secrecy, with most of the information hidden behind a level 5 clearance wall. Many also believe Alpha-1 to have links to the infamous Chaos Insurgency, a splinter group at war with the Foundation. But if anyone asks, you didn't hear it from us. Seriously, we don't want to get assassinated. NTF Alpha 4, aka Pony Express, are a covert group deeply embedded into the world's logistics and postal services. The trafficking of anomalous objects is a worldwide issue, and it's up to Alpha 4 to intercept and keep a lid on those anomalous objects before they fall into the wrong hands. Think of them as a better-funded, paranormal USPS police division. One object they've prevented from reaching the public is SCP-3060, a series of CPAP machines that cause nighttime visions of frightening entities. MTF Omega-7, aka Pandora's Box, was an experimental task force which incorporated the use of highly combat-effective SCPs, including SCP-076, better known as Abel. The test showed initial success, but after they ran out of missions, Abel's bloodlust proved to be too great for the team to control, and the experiment as well as the task force were scrapped. However, this led to the creation of MTF Alpha-9, aka Last Hope. This is a mobile task force designed to train viable SCPs to provide services to the Foundation out in the field. This group has learned the lessons of its predecessor and has employed the use of more measured and reasonable anomalies. Those include SCP-073, or Kane, the much more even-tempered brother of Abel. MTF Beta-7, aka the Maz Hatters, are the elite cleanup crew for anomalous biohazards, chemical spills, and radiological disasters. So if an area suddenly looks like it's going to become Chernobyl's scarier sequel or an anomalous fast-spreading disease is wrecking havoc over a wide area, the Maz Hatters are the guys to call. They worked closely on the containment of SCP-1280, a kind of parasitic nematode worm that often injects false memories into their victims. MTF Gamma-5, aka Red Herrings, are the Foundation's chief disinformation division. They prevent the leaks of classified info to the public, and on the rare occasions that this information does somehow get out, they're in charge of burying it and administering necessary amnestic treatment to those affected. It's a thankless job, but you won't remember they did it either way. They gave amnestic treatment to the traumatized victims of SCP-1618, a malevolent urinal which replaced the user's valuables with disgusting alternatives, from toilet paper to pig intestines. NTF Gamma-6, aka Deep Feeders, investigate and track deep sea or oceanic anomalies, a job that commands the ultimate respect from people with thalassophobia, that's the fear of the deep ocean. If something terrifying and mysterious is stirring down there in the abyss, you better believe Gamma-6 are going to be the first ones down. 
They keep a close eye on a number of anomalies such as SCP-1264, an underwater amalgamation of sunken ships eager to drag down more vessels and add them to its mass. MTF Gamma-13, aka Asimov's Lawbringers, are a specialized task force devoted to investigating, tracking, and apprehending anomalies originating from Anderson Robotics, a group of interests that produces anomalous robots and machines. This includes examples of SCP-2806, a number of advanced anomalous prosthetic body parts that wish to attach themselves to a lacking host whether they want it or not. MTF Delta-5, aka Front Runners, are a large group of autonomous deep cover agents buried in various groups of interest across the globe. It's their job to gather intelligence from within to aid in the apprehension of anomalies before these groups can get their hands on them. They also sometimes make use of anomalies to track down others, such as when they requested to use SCP-185, a Russian R-105M radio used during the Cold War that can receive signals from any time period, including encrypted ones, but can also emit sound waves so powerful they can literally kill you. MTF Epsilon-9, aka Fire Eaters, are the Foundation's resident pyromaniacs. They're the ones sent into missions involving extremely high temperature environments, and they're also highly skilled in the use of powerful incendiary weapons. If the Foundation needs to burn or avoid getting burned, the Fire Eaters are the ones for the job. Their vital skills assisted in containing SCP-165, massive colonies of carnivorous, parasitic mites that eat prey to the bone. MTF Epsilon-11, Nine-Tailed Fox are another one of the most classified mobile task forces existing only under the oversight of the Red Right Hand. They work internally and are only dispatched to Foundation sites when standard protocols fail and multiple breaches are imminent. They were brought in to deal with the SCP-2139 incident, a strange psychological phenomenon that inexplicably increased the suggestibility of Foundation staff at Site-35. This made the infected staff agree with everything they heard. MTF Zeta-9, Mole Rats are a task force that specializes in the exploration and containment of anomalous areas that are either enclosed or underground, particularly if, due to the effects of the anomaly, the space-time fabric of the area is unstable. You may remember them from our series on SCP-1730, the mission into and out of the anomalous Site-13. MTF Ada-10, aka See No Evil, are a team that specializes in taking on dangerous memes and cognito hazards that affect the victims through visual contact. One example is SCP-1561, a crown that when worn causes all those who see the person wearing the crown to imagine the wearer as their king and immediately adopt positions of servitude. While MTF Ida-10, aka Savage Beasts, serve the opposite purpose. They deal with musical or auditory anomalies and any cognito hazards that work through the medium of sound, like SCP-2402, a chord progression which can regenerate old or dying cells. MTF Theta-4, aka Gardeners, are a crack team of agents who face off against any botanical or plant-like anomalies. Their skills were put to use against SCP-1147, a collection of plum tree seeds which can grow out of literally any substance, even ones that are totally inorganic. MTF Theta-90, aka Angle Grinders, are a team that specialize in two of the most frightening things out there, anomalies and math. These brainiacs deal with anomalous mathematical issues, like warped topologies and geometries. Even listing an example of the kind of anomalies they deal with here will make your head hurt, so just be thankful they're out there. MTF IOTA-10, or Damn Feds, are a huge network of undercover agents based in federal and local law enforcement agencies across the globe. They intercept any anomalous objects, beings, or information and make sure that it makes its way out of police evidence lockers and into Foundation hands without incident. MTF Kappa 10, or Skynet, is a temporary team of combined meat space and virtual agents tracking down and disrupting anomalous cyber threats, such as SCP-2987, an external hard drive basically capable of turning artificial intelligences into living souls for trades with soul-consuming anomalies. MTF Lambda 5, aka White Rabbits, are a group that specializes in combating reality warpers of all types, whether they're messing with space-time or exhibiting godlike powers. Some anomalies even respond directly to them, like SCP-2440. 46, a phenomenon where corpses often identical to living White Rabbit's team members suddenly manifest around San Jose, California. MTF Lambda-12, Pest Control, are a group of agents who exclusively go after anomalous vermin. Incidentally, they're one of the only MTFs who've never lost members in the line of duty. Their purview includes SCP-2810, an anomalous pathogen that causes the victim cells to become tiny versions of their own species, like a human cells becoming cell-sized humans. MTF Lambda-14, one-star reviewers, are a task force that deal with retail-oriented anomalies, 
Their main focus has become combating a sinister group of interest known as the Ambrose Restaurant, a chain of extra-dimensional restaurants with strange and anomalous food and service. MTF Mu3, aka Highest Bidders, is a mobile task force devoted to preventing the group of interest, Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited, from disseminating dangerous anomalous objects and then obtaining and containing these objects. One such object is SCP-2818, a number of 50 cal sniper rifles that, when fired, turns the shooter into a bullet and fires them. MTF Mu4, aka Debuggers, are particularly useful in the modern age as they track and contain anomalous electronics and technology, including isolating and containing anomalous websites and software. One of the anomalies dealt with by the Debuggers is SCP-896, an online role-playing game that improves the physical and mental attributes of the player when they name their character after themselves. Remember when we said you didn't need to call the Ghostbusters? Well, that wasn't entirely true. Sometimes you need to get MTF Mu-13, aka Ghostbusters, on the line, since they're an MTF whose specialty is tracking intangible or incorporeal anomalies, particularly those considered sapient or sentient, and they're on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural containment needs, like when you're plagued by SCP-1036, which are a number of haunted Congolese fetish dolls. MTF Nu-7, aka Hammer Down, are the ones you need to call when you need real heavy-duty work. They're a huge force with a massive stock of army vehicles and heavy weaponry, and are only called in for truly catastrophic events. They're also assisted in the containment of SCP-939, the voice-imitating, amnestic-producing red monsters. MTF Epsilon-6, aka Village Idiots, are a group of agents whose specialty is investigating and containing anomalous phenomena that occur in rural or suburban areas. If you live in a small town and you're on the run from a vicious monster, you better hope the village idiots are on their way. They've contained SCP-2561, a cat with a vintage television set for a head, capable of causing painful tinnitus. MTF Pi-1, aka City Slickers, are pretty much the exact opposite of the village idiots. They pursue anomalies in densely populated urban areas, particularly in the New York metropolitan area. They assisted in the ongoing containment of SCP-1155, the incredibly bloodthirsty predatory street art. MTF Sigma-66, aka 16 Tons, are basically the Foundation's own version of the Suicide Squad. They're a team made from captured members of other groups of interest who aren't particularly loyal to the Foundation, but whose very particular set of skills make up for that fact. MTF Tau-5, aka Samsara, are another group you might remember from the events of SCP-1730. These are a group unlike any other, immortal cyborgs made from the flesh of a dead god who can be upgraded as needed. They're equipped with experimental and state-of-the-art Foundation technology to take on thaumaturgic, magical, and psionic threats. MTF Psi-7, aka Home Improvement, is a team specializing in structural anomalies. In plain speak, they deal with anomalous activities concerning buildings, containing, and sometimes even demolishing when necessary, with a variety of heavy artillery. For example, they counteract the nightmarish SCP-3050, a building in North Carolina that once a year fuses all living matter inside its own structure on an atomic level. MTF Psi-8, aka the Silencers, are a team devoted to containing reanimation anomalies and those who've been affected by them. If you've just come back from the dead, then the Silencers are going to want to know your location. MTF Omega-0, aka Ara Orun, are another highly classified mobile task force that's actually the memories of deceased Foundation personnel preserved on the Foundation intranet system. Their job is to protect their surviving co-workers against informational threats mm -hmm. on the servers. They also contain SCP-3664, a damaged but highly advanced assault rifle existing in the non-physical conceptual space. It can only be interacted with by thinking about interacting with it. And last but not least, MTF Omega-12. 12, aka Achilles Heel, is an anomalous task force, and these powerful reality warpers from another dimension hunt down dangerous and powerful reality warpers in ours. You can thank these guys for every single day that our reality continues on as normal, or whatever normal means now. They're enemies of SCP-3155, members of the iconic Pinkerton Detective Agency with anomalous abilities relating to combat. Alright, we did it! Of course, even this is only a sample of the vast number of mobile task forces at the Foundation's disposal who put their lives at risk every day to keep humanity, normality, and reality intact. They seem to have a task force perfectly tailored to every threat we could possibly encounter, and as new threats are cataloged, more mobile task forces are sure to arise to meet them. Want more in-depth explorations of any of these groups and their epic missions? Let us know in the comments below. Now go check out SCP-1730 Epic Battle at Site-13.
and SCP-2662 Cthulhu for more of the Mobile Task Forces you love right now.